Hey guys, welcome back to the Mod Bros. Uh, in this video, we are going to be talking about a variety of retaliator based springs because I recently got my 28 Newton spring that I ordered ages ago. Yeah. Shout out coronavirus. So we're going to be comparing the 62 Hillman, the 28 Newton, and then also my very worn 25 Newton. We have a couple of retaliators just to sort of show them off. This one has a longer barrel, which I think this is great, but this one has a custom spring rest so that I can get full compression with any of these. So that'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to sort of be a video of us firing darts through our chronograph with a bunch of various springs. <coughs> <coughs> Alright guys, so this is my fully homemade retaliator that has no 3D print parts, so I just have a bunch of pennies there acting as my spring rest. And so we're going to start off with 25 Newton and just show it off for you guys. Uh, we'll be using my newly made barrel for my retaliator since I have a modular front end with both threads and the retaliator end, I can make a bunch of different barrels. And this one was specifically made so that it will feed half-length darts. Because my original barrel, whilst it would still feed half-length darts, was a little bit inconsistent. And I wanted something that could be real good. So this is one of the benefits of running retaliators with quick change spring options, is you can easily swap between the various springs that you want to test and just have them ready to go. Um, hey, can you go grab my baton I got here out of the Delta Trooper? Yeah. Kinda need that. So, one thing I will say, the- oop, let me show you off. So, with my custom spring spacer, I'm getting basically full compression with the 25 Newton, and this thing is a buttery smooth prime. Like, let me just show that off to you guys. Absolutely easy. I don't even need to use this little piece, but I have that there just to brace your hand and it feels great. And then this is just my barrel that sits perfectly so that when I insert my half dart mag, whoop, when I insert the half dart mag, the brass holds it perfectly in place and then it feeds darts real consistently. I'm gonna try and scooch you, Tucker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna fire off. How many darts should we fire off? Three, three of each, all right. I'll grab one more worker then. So I'm gonna fire off three worker gen threes every single time with these to the darts, starting off with the 25 Newton. So 220 with the first dart. 222 with the second one. We're gonna have to go find these after every single time. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I hate the crowd, right? <laughs> Mm. I hit the chrome graph now. It's gonna heck up the average and everything. Oh, heck, son. Well, 244. So, around 230 for the 25 Newton. And now we'll change it up to the 28. Alright, And, uh, we'll get the number. Alright, so now, now's the part where I'm gonna have to fiddle around with my spring spacers and see. How much compression I can get out of the 28 Newton? Um, I got five pennies. Uh, yes, my spring spacers are pennies for those wondering. And no, you poor people. <laughs> Man, we use pennies as our spring spacers. Honestly, using pennies is actually really good because, for one, they are a nice consistent size that I can fiddle around with <laughs> and make the spring spacer fit. Uh, but also, they kind of add a little heft to the rear of the blaster. Bring the center of gravity rearward. Holy fuck. Oh my god. So this is a this is a fresh and new 28 noon. So this baby is like... Oh my god. <laughs> that was tough to get in there. <laughs> uh, truthfully, I should have normalized the spring, but that takes a while. <laughs> God. Okay, <laughs> my guess of five pennies was like basically true. So yeah, this is the 28 Newton reaching near full compression. And I'll tell you, it's a bit heavier. <laughs> that bitch is a little heavier to prime. <laughs> I guess we just got a bunch of dead formula. Uh, all right, we're gonna fire off three more worker gen threes, this time with the 28 Newton, just to see how different the numbers are. Two 
264. 264. <laughs> Man, that sounded loud as shit. Jesus Christ. 255. Oh my god. <laughs> 264 again. All right, so two 264s and a 255. Damn. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically, for those wondering, the 28 Newton has four inches of pre-compression. <laughs> now, that'll reduce once this spring gets worked in and whatnot. But getting 260s average uh, with that spring, I'd say is pretty nice. Um, so now I need to take out all these pennies because the 62 Hillman is a long boy. Uh, I should have measured the 25 Newton, but the 62 Hillman has about three and a half inches of pre-compression in my retaliator for those wondering for those numbers. Uh, so yeah, that is one of the benefits I think of the 62 Hillman is that in, in retaliators, it does not have like an excessive amount of pre-compression, but also it reaches really nice compression with just the stock end cap and whatnot, which is cool. Uh, very, very light, easy to prime spring, but as you can see, reaching full compression. I would be interested to see what this gets. Three more worker gen threes. This is with the 62 Hillman. Much, much easier to prime than the 28 Newton. But only getting 209. Mm. Wow, 209 again. <laughs> I checked, the shot count did actually go up. <laughs> so it was just 209 again. And 221. So, not bad. Averaging two, 230s with 25 Newton, 260 with the 28, and then about 210 with the 62 Hillman, that's not bad. And also to put that in some context, this has, this is my like OG homemade internal detailer, so the barrel is probably not perfect, and it's actually shorter than a foot, which is what we put in the kits. Our kits were getting 220s and whatnot 220 with plus 220 the plus with the Hillman, which means that with a 28, it might be pushing 270, mm -hmm. maybe 280, I don't know. All right, guys, well, uh, it's a couple days later and uh, we're back just to sort of go through the final overall with all the springs. Uh, I wanted to mention this is a small piece of a 62 Hillman. It's basically about half the length of a full 62 Hillman. And with this, I, I made this spring so that way I could put it into my retaliator and it would have no pre-compression because one of the things that people say if you have a retaliator is when you run a really long spring in between games you want to take it out which is good both for the blaster's sake because it's not under excessive pre-compression for just several days on end but then also good for your spring allow it to rest at a max length and whatnot. But with this spring that I cut down so that I'd have no pre-compression I was getting about 155-ish with this particular barrel setup, which is pretty cool because it's a, honestly, oh my God. <laughs> my apologies. Back to what I was saying. Uh, so with this 62 Hillman cut down so that it has no pre-compression, uh, it's honestly a very light prime and getting 155 FPS is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it could be a nice little thing for a sub 150 FPS where I could probably just take like a few pennies out of it, drop it beneath there and be good to go. Uh, we tried to test it with the BT27 spring. I don't have my CETA here, and I don't wanna have to go through the whole test again with the CETA. I think my retaliator was a good platform to test with because I had adjustable spring rest, uh, but we just couldn't really get the BT27 to prime and whatnot in this setup with the, with the slide and whatnot. Uh, but I would honestly say if you want to get a retaliator with some really nice performance, we sell our kits with the 62 Hillman and of the ones we tested today, the 62 Hillman was actually the least powerful of all of them with coming in around 200 FPS in this particular setup. And then the 25 Newton getting us into that 230 range and then the 28 getting us up to 260s, almost 270s and whatnot. So honestly, I'd say that's pretty good. I would recommend the 28 Newton. I don't think you can really get the 25 Newton 
anywhere now, and you also probably can't really get the 28 noon right about now, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dab on them, China, but... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this is probably just gonna be a small video of us sort of just dicking around, testing out various springs and whatnot. So I uh, hope you guys liked it. I hope you maybe learned something, learn a thing or two, and uh, we'll give us a like or a comment down below, and make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, we'll check you out in the next one.